Hello everybody. So I have channeled some important updates for this third party energy group. There's a lot going on. Um, the karmic, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to look into the karmics in this reading because they're an absolute joke right now. It's a clown show whenever I look into the karmics. It's, it's like these little girls that are like the divine is coming in and, and, you know, you ever see like a little kid trying to kick and, and punch and scream and the divine comes in and um, puts their hand on their forehead and just kind of blocks them just so easily. And, the, and this, these karmics are still kicking and trying to fight and they think they're getting somewhere and, you know, they're a joke. They're a joke to the DM. They're a joke to the divine feminine. They're becoming a joke to the entire universe. It's actually kind of sad. Um, it's, it's such a strange energy. These karmics are kind of ridiculous, but there's, there's something more important I wanted to get into. Um, so I had this dream about, so this is, this is for the divine masculines, the third party energy, and I have quite a few important updates. So please stay tuned for it. Also, if you missed my other videos that I did, I think it was like two or three days ago, I posted a couple videos about, you know, divine intervention I posted about how, you know, these karmic cycles are meant to wrap up. So the karmics are getting more psychotic because they're reaching that breaking point. And this is the point where the masculine has this chance to finally end these karmic cycles. But, you know, it's going to be dramatic. It's going to be crazy. But he kind of has to call. He has to protect himself because these karmics are psychotic. Just to reiterate really quickly, and then I'm going to get right into the reading. You know, he has to protect himself because these karmics are pretty psychotic. Um, he does need to be mindful, but at the same time, it's like they're at that breaking point. The, so the karmics are pulling on any kind of illusion, any kind of trick. They're desperate. They're pulling on anything that they can because they realize, you know, this karmic cycle is about to be wrapped up finally. This car this masculine's about to free himself from this energy finally. And in the past, the masculines retreated because it's been too much drama or, or threats were just too much. But this time around, I have hope that these masculines are actually going to call their bluff, you know? So if these these karmics try to threaten the divine feminine or threaten, the, you know, the family or whatever, the masculine is just going to say, you know what, go ahead and do it. Go ahead, let let these tower moments come on in. I'm I'm fine with it just as long as I can finally be free of you. Like, go ahead, bring the drama, bring the chaos, bring the threats. Um... You know, standing in his power finally so that he can end these cycles. And yeah, it's going to be crazy for a while. It's going to be, she's going to pull on anything she can. And he has to be smarter than that. He has to stop allowing himself to be gaslight, gaslit by the karmic. You know what I mean? Because it's all an illusion. Like I said, if she's threatening to hex or threatening to come after the divine feminine, the divine feminine and masculine are protected. Like they're good. And I don't want to get too much into that. But if that's, you know, if that resonates for you, just check that out. You do need to stand up for yourself. You do, you know, masculines, you do need to stand up. You do need to end these karmic cycles. Finally, the blindfold is off. Your spirit guides have taken the blindfold off and they're not taking it off to hurt you. They're taking it off because, you know, they've tried to take it off so many times in the past and you put it back on because it was uncomfortable to have it off. And now they've ripped that blindfold off. So there's a lot of tower moments, a lot of chaos, but, you know, the divine has your back. Your spirit guides love you and have your back. And they're forcing that blindfold off because it's finally time to wrap up these karmic cycles and, you know, get away from these crazy bitches and live the life you're meant to live with your divine feminine. Um, so anyway, I don't want to get too into that because I know I already did like a hour, hour, hour and a half long reading, two different videos on it, um, two or three days ago. But, but if that's your energy group, please, um, check those out because there's some really important messages there for the masculines about standing in their power, but also simultaneously protecting themselves, you know, understanding the difference between psychotic and powerful because the karmics are psychotic. They're not powerful though. You know what I mean? Like they're the master of illusion. They're good at gaslighting, but they're, and they're psychotic. So you do need to stand up for yourself at a safe distance. Like you do need to call them and stand up for yourself. Like when you're, you know, when you're in a safe location where they can't find you for sure. But you, and you need to be mindful because they're the slit your tires type, but you know, they, don't, they, they can't hex anymore. They can't, you know what I mean? Like they're just pulling anything and it's all just an illusion. And you need to be smarter than that this time around. You need to you need to stand in your power. You need to believe in your divine feminine and in the connection and finally wrap up these karmic cycles. You know what I mean? 
Otherwise, it's going to be another three months, another three months, another three months. You know what I mean? It's like, no, the time is now to, to get free of this. Let the karmic do what she wants to do. Let her let her call your family. Let her call your divine feminine. Let her do, you know what I mean? Let her run her mouth. Just protect yourself. Get out of there and stand up for yourself from a safe distance where she doesn't know where you're at. You know, a lot of you guys do need, need, need to be safe. But anyway, let me get into the reading. Um, you know, check those videos out if that resonates. So I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages. So I channeled a lot of messages. For one thing, I'm getting that the masculines, and I channel primarily, like I'll use cards as a visual. So this isn't just me talking. This is me. This is what I've channeled. This is from dreams. This is from spirit communication. Um, this is, you know what I mean? So this, this is accurate even if it's not, I don't need the cards necessarily. You know what I mean? Like I'll show you guys the cards. I'll pull cards here and there, but this is mostly just me channeling. But what I got is... Um, the karmic is trying to reach the DM, the divine masculine, through his friends right now. That's what came through very strongly. And the thing is, these divine masculines really need to listen to their own intuition. That is a big part of why this chaos is happening in the first place, because it's, it's meant to... It was never meant to get this chaotic is what I feel, but the divine masculine held on to these karmic cycles for too long. So they ended up, it's like this vicious cycle. But what I'm feeling is like, you know, the, the lesson there was that he needs to learn to in, listen to his intuition because a lot of these masculines are just so impressionable and they listen to the people around them. They, they let themselves be gaslit. And, you know, the, the masculine spirit guides are trying to push him to listen to his own intuition, to follow his heart to do what feels right for him. And that's part of the lesson. That's why so many people are against him. So many people are jealous of him. So many people try to get in his head and convince him of what to do. It's almost like a spiritual test. It's it's like a like a karmic lesson that he needs to learn to be like I don't I don't care if my family doesn't like the divine feminine. I don't care what my friends say about it. I know in my heart and soul what's right for me, you know? And it could go for a career or other things too. You know what I mean? Like where you know, maybe he wants to branch out and do, maybe some of you, some of you divine masculines want to go on a spiritual path or you want to, you just want to end old situations. And these people are trying to tie you down and keep you stuck in the same old stagnant ways of thinking. And these people are not, this could be family, friends. It's like these people are not accepting that the divine masculine has outgrown them. They're trying to get him to go back to who he used to be, and he can't be that person anymore. And there's this disconnect, and it's going to be a battle until the Divine Masculine finally stands in his power as he was meant to and finally trusts his own intuition regardless of what people are saying and you know realizes that he has to cut some of these people out. Over the next month, the Divine Masculine is going to be cutting a lot of people out of his life is what I'm feeling and um, like I said, it was like a test. It's like he's meant to use his intuition. That's why there's so many people challenging him and telling him this and telling him that. It's like it's like a karmic lesson that's trying to wrap up. And so it's really chaotic right now as, you know, he goes through this, this final breakthrough, this final end of this crazy cycle where, you know, his spirit guides are trying to tell him like, like, hey, like, this, who do you want to listen to? You know what I mean? It's like he has all these people testing him because it's meant to... It's like that friction was needed to, to kind of put him in his, to, to get him to see his own power, to get him to use his intuition. He needed, it's like these people are challenging him to stop being, it, it's like the lesson here is to stop being so impressionable, stop being, stop listening to other people, stop putting other people's opinions and thoughts and beliefs above your own divine masculines. Like you need to listen to your own beliefs, your own desires your own heart your own soul your own spirit guides you need to disconnect from the world that's that lesson here disconnecting from the world going inward divine masculines and hearing your own voice listening to your own intuition listening to your heart you know what i mean and you have these people challenging you because it's a learning lesson here where it's like are you going to really fall back into old patterns and listen to these toxic people or are you going to believe the truth that you know in your heart and soul which is that you know, the divine feminine does love you and that you are meant to have this great destiny with her. And you know what? Some of you are going on a spiritual path and some of you are not used to that because your friends and family are like very conservative or, um, you know, religious or they just have a certain way of doing things. So some of these divine masculines are having, you know, issues with that where they're like, uh, I never expected this from my life. And it's like, okay, but let's get the show on the road. Like, yeah, you never expected it, but this is kind of where your life is going. It's, it's like you're going down a spiritual path. 
Are you going to fight it and make it difficult? Or are you just going to naturally go down that spiritual path with your divine feminine? But um, I want to say that the, the divine feminine does love you. Know that above all else. Know that. Because some of these masculines are getting in their head and they're listening to a third party. I'm going to get, let me, sorry. There's a lot of messages here. So I hope you guys stay tuned. I know sometimes I ramble a little bit, but I have quite a few things to go over here. Um, but the, the, th the main thing, so one of the, one of the big things was I see that the masculine is in an eight of swords energy right now. So the eight of swords, traditionally, it's someone that has these swords all around them, which in this case is other people, people, toxic people that are trying to confuse the masculine. And it's like, he's got these swords all around him, but he doesn't realize that his, um, his destiny, his life, everything he could ever want is just on the other side of that fear. And, you know, like in the, in the tarot deck, it's like, there's an opening. It's like, he's in the center and he's so focused on these swords that he's not even seeing that there's a way out. And that there's, you know, this way out is, you know, leads to a life with his divine feminine. It leads to home. It leads to financial stability. It leads to everything he could ever dream of. Sorry, I got a new phone. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but the thing is, that, so, okay, so, so the karmic is trying to reach the divine masculine through his friends. Now, there's two ways. So this is the same energy group, but there's like just slight variations of this story. So one way that she's doing that is through magic. She's trying to, it's really sad because it's like, it's all coming. I don't even know if it is through magic because I honestly don't, I think that she's been cut off from magic. I think most of these karmics have actually been cut off from magic. So the karmic is trying to reach the divine masculine through his friends. Some of them are still just have like a little bit of magic left in them. And they are trying to come through his dreams. They're trying to block. They know. So the karmics know that the masculine is more intuitive now. They can sense a shift in him. They can. The karmics are able to sense that the masculine is. He's not letting himself be gaslit the way he was before. He's smarter. He's protecting himself more. He is more logical. He's not just getting caught up in the moment like he used to. He's actually like, and he's not getting caught up in his head quite as much as he used to. Like he's actually recognizing finally that he's being gaslit and that these people around him are toxic. So some of these karmics are trying to do magic to come through his dreams or to block his intuition. Um, to confuse him like they basically the karmics just know that the masculine is intuitive now is the energy i get like they know that he's listening to his soul and his heart they know he's following his heart they know that he's that he's smarter that he's leveled up and they don't like it they want to drag him back down so the masculines really need to protect themselves right now and be be mindful and keep using your intuition no matter how much these crazy bitches don't like it um and shield yourself. Do like do protect protective visualizations. But that's only for a few of you. For most of you, I feel like. I mean, I feel like she can maybe do little things here and there where she can like if he's not protecting himself and he's like sleeping in the same house with her. It's like yeah, she might be able to to mess with his dreams a little bit. But she can't do much. Like she doesn't she doesn't have anywhere near the amount of power that the divine feminine has. Because keep in mind this karmic like we've talked about in other videos. The karmics just work with like little baby imps, like little, little low level demons, like not even, not even powerful demons, just little low level, like just weak demons. That, that's all like mo most of the higher ones won't even work with her. That's how pathetic she is. Like the entire universe thinks that the karmics are jokes right now. I'm not even going to lie. Um, so a lot of them cannot do magic or if they can, it's only little things here and there. Like they can, I would say though, I think that it's more like verbally she's trying to mess with his intuition. Like I don't even know if it's through magic because like I said, I feel like the divine masculine and feminine are just so protected where any hex that she does is coming back on her tenfold. So I feel like a lot, like a lot of the karmics just cannot do magic anymore. Like it's just not working. It's all coming back on them. Or if they can, it's like little baby things here and there, but it's not much. It's, it's very weak magic. But some of them are just trying to, you know, verbally maybe mess with his dreams a little bit. Or they're trying to, they're trying, they're sneaky. Ew. I see oil. I see like an oil, like some of them. So if you're living with your karmic, watch out. Because then this isn't for everybody, but this is for a few of the people in this energy group. But I see them like putting like oil or something on the door. Or they're putting like some kind of oil somewhere. Like maybe like some, like some, one or, one or two of the masculines here 
have like they they smelled something and they're like what's that smell and she's like oh i got a new perfume or oh that's i don't know what that is like played it off and it's actually because i see i see a karmic that has an oil that she's using and it's like uh what is it it's like she's trying to mess with his with his intuition she knows that he's more intuitive is the energy I, oh <coughs> And she's trying to block his throat chakra, which is not going to work. But she's trying to mess with his intuition. So that's like, there's some kind of oil for a couple of you where she's putting it on like doorknobs. I don't know what she's doing with it, but it's like she's trying to, not just for someone specific. And don't panic. Don't feed this with fear. Just It's just a warning to like protect yourself. Like don't. Some of the masculines are like, oh, she wouldn't hex. They're like, oh, I'm sure she's not. She said she wasn't. And it's like, guys, you got to stop being so naive. Like, these bitches are crazy. These are the darkest karmics I have ever channeled. Some of these karmics have literally killed people. I'm not even playing. Some of these karmics have like, and this is only for a couple. Then this is for like, I don't know where this is. I don't even know if this is in the United States. But there's a couple I've channeled like in other states or other countries that have done that. Or in the past, not recently, but still. There's karmics that are, you know, messing around with the DM's fathers right now. There's karmic, there, the, the, these karmics are dark. Like, and, and sometimes the masculine is like, oh, like, she wouldn't do witchcraft on me. Like, no, she is. Like, she would. She would and she is. Um, or she's about to. She's thinking about it again. But anyway, let me get into, into the, my point. And you're safe, divine masculine. It's like, you're safe, you're protected, but you need, to, you need to be mindful. You need to not be so naive and not so trusting. You need to realize how dark these karmics are. And you need to protect yourself. Act accordingly. Protect yourself. Get out of there. But let me get to the point. The karmic is trying to reach the DM through his friends. There's also a money offer here that's not a good option. Some of these masculines are trying to hold on to old jobs and it's not good. Like you're not going to be able to hold on to that job. It's going to, you're going to get fired or you're going to quit or things are going to be explosive because you're trying to hold on to these stagnant old situations that are trying to wrap up so you can have the career and life that you're meant to have. You're going to be making more money. I get in the moment it's hard to let go of. Like if you're making good money, it's hard to let go of it. But if you let go of it, you're going to have another job that's going to come in within the next few months or so that's going to be more profitable or you're going to start your own career. Also, I want to say that the divine feminine loves you even if you're jobless, even if you have no money. See, the thing is that the karmic is all about the money. And I think that those issues, like sometimes the divine masculine projects those issues onto the divine feminine where he's like, oh, the divine feminine is all about money, I bet. And it's like, no, she's not. It's the karmic. The karmic... Because he intuitively felt that the karmic was just using him for money or for a place to stay or for um, because she liked the idea of having a family, but she never really loved him. Like he always felt that he always knew that, but he ignored his intuition. So if these karmics are saying like, oh, no one would ever want a jobless man. It's like, no, the divine feminine does. The divine feminine does want you if you're jobless. She does want you just as you are. She's fine if you don't have money. She doesn't care. The divine feminine does not care about the money. She wants you to rebuild with her. She wants you to build a life with her. She wants you to find a job or a career like near her. You know what I mean? Like around her or like she wants you to, you know what I mean? Like a lot of these divine feminines are waiting with open arms to take care of the masculine and help him rebuild and help him find, you know, start a new life with her. And she understands, the divine feminine understands a lot of these masculines will be building from the ground up. They will have to find a new job. And, they, and the divine feminine is okay with that. It's the karmic that's all about the money. So please, masculine, stop confusing the karmic with the divine feminine. These are two drastically different energies, two drastically different motives. Um, so when the, when the karmic says like, oh, like uh, no, one, no woman would ever want a man without a job. It's like, no, the divine feminine already knows that you don't have a job. Or that you're about to not have a job. And she still she wants you just as you are. She wants you to come and rebuild with her and find a job with her. You know what I mean? Like she's she's waiting. The divine feminine is waiting with open arms. Or some of the karmics will say, like, oh, no woman was ever gonna want a man that um you know, and this applies to the LGBT community as well. So please don't get caught up on gender. It's just, you know, whatever the roles are, you know what your story is. But some of these karmics say, like, oh, well, like no woman is ever gonna want a man that um 
No, like, like you always pull me in, like, you used to pull me into bed and stuff, like, at night, like, you snore and you, you lay on me and stuff, but I hated that, and, like, no, the Divine Feminine loves that, the Divine Feminine thinks your snoring is cute, the Divine Feminine loves being wrapped up in you, you know what I mean, it's like, everything that the karmic hated about you, the Divine Feminine is going to understand and love about you, because this is your person, that's the difference, the karmic is not your person, so, of course, she hates these things about you, you know, and vice versa, you hate these things about her, too, because she's not the Divine Feminine, so please don't get caught up in that illusion. I want to say, so sorry, I know sometimes I ramble when I start channeling. But the karmic is trying to reach the DM through his friends. She's basically trying to get the divine masculine to not trust his connection with his divine feminine. Because I'm getting strongly that some of these masculines are thinking that the feminine is happy or that she's better off without him. And that's simply not the case. The Divine Feminine can appear happy, but she could be crying her eyes out every single night. It doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, what you see isn't always what is. Like, yeah, they might, you know, maybe the Divine Feminines are on their spiritual path or they're they're focused on money right now because they're trying not to sink too deeply into a depression because, you know, they miss you every day. Um, but it's like, they're, they're not, the Divine Feminines are not over you. The Karmics want you to believe and this isn't, this is friends too, karmic friends, karmic family even, want you to believe the divine fam, the divine feminine has moved on or that she, you're better, you know, she's better off without you. And that's not the case. Um, the divine feminine is much happier with you. She's much better off with you. Her spiritual path is stronger with you because she has that support and that love from you. You know what I mean? So, so don't, don't let, there's someone trying to get you caught up in your head. I feel like for some of these masculines, and I'm going to get into a dream that I had, it's really important here. Some of these masculines, a karmic had a psychic lie to them and say that the divine feminine is over the connection. Like some of these masculines might have pulled cards themselves or they might have, um, they might have had someone pull cards. They might have had like a spiritual friend tell them certain things. And it was actually the, the karmic influencing this reading, basically. Does that make sense? Like... Or some readers on YouTube, I want to say even, are for the karmics and not for the divine feminines. You know what I mean? Like, you have to be intuitive when you choose your YouTube readers. But I feel like some of... And this is just for a few of you. This isn't for all of you. And I have more messages too, so please stay tuned because I do have some more... There's a dream I want to get into. Um, and I'm going to go more in-depth into that too. So there's, there's more messages here, so just stay tuned. But for some of you, just for a few of you, the karmic had someone that's psychic lie to the masculine and say that the divine feminine is over the connection. Now, this could come through in a lot of ways. This could be the karmic just putting the intention out there. Most of them are not very powerful. So it's like very, you know, I feel like most of them probably had to pay someone to do this or they had to ask someone to do this. Like they had to, the karmic is plotting basically is what I'm getting. The karmic is, um... The karmic is hiding stuff right now. She's hiding stuff in her phone. She's hiding stuff. She's hiding because I get it. Like I get like a secret of energy. Like I see someone like hiding text messages and I see her um, like I see her hiding text messages, not the masculine, but the the, the uh, karmic is hiding text messages. And I see her like going outside to call someone. It's like maybe she's like around people. She doesn't want anyone to hear her. And she's just like, oh, I'm just going to run to the store or something like just just shady energy. She's plotting with somebody again is what I'm feeling. She's plotting with somebody again. Yeah. And some of them, like I said, some of them are telling, some of them paid a psychic to, to like, like a few hundred dollars to tell the mask. And like these karmics are desperate. It's kind of, it's a clown show. These karmics are so pathetic. It's like, it's funny, but it's like sad at the same time. It's just kind of ridiculous. But, um, like, I literally laugh at these karmics when I channel them. They're just so weak. Like, they're just so pathetic. Like, oh my gosh, how is anyone that pathetic? Or for someone that they don't even love that doesn't even love them back. Oh my gosh. And the karmic, well, we've gotten into it before, but the karmics are about to block their own blessings. Like, they're about to have bad karma come back on them tenfold. They don't even know it. Oh, I can't even feel bad for them, though. They're such jokes. But anyway... Some of them, like I did, like I mentioned in my last video, some of them um, are getting scammed by a psychic and they think they're stupid and they think that the psychic is on their side and they might have offered some of them, just a couple of them, 
might have offered this psychic or this friend or, or someone that the masculine knows money to um to convince him that the divine feminine is over him and doesn't love him anymore. So some of these, some of these, basically what I'm getting is that some of these masculines had a bad reading, whether it was on YouTube, whether it was, um, whether it was like someone like in, like in the physical or like a friend. And this isn't, this isn't for everybody in this energy group. This is just for a few of you, but, but yeah, that's the energy I get that, that someone was paid to lie to the masculine. <laughs> Oh, or she's offering sexual favors. Some of these karmics are into prostitution. Not all of them, but there's a couple that are, honestly. So it's not shocking that, you know, some of these karmics do offer sexual favors to get what they want. They're desperate. They don't care. They they don't care. They will suck some dick to get what they want. They are that pathetic. They are that weak. They are that insecure. Oh, my gosh. And I think what the masculines need to realize too is that the karmic hates you. Like she's not, she's not sad. She tries to pretend to be sad because she wants, she's a succubus. Succubuses feed off their, off your energy. She's either a succubus or she has no soul, but succubuses feed off their energy. So they, you know, she tries, she plays the crocodile tears and tries to get empathy. And the divine masculine needs to be smarter than that. Like it's so obvious. It's so obvious to anyone looking in from the outside, just how toxic and ridiculous these karmics are. So please, masculines, do not be convinced that the karmic loves you just because she's crying and emotional. She's doing that because she wants to feed off your energy and because she hates you. Like, these karmics literally are hellbent on keeping the masculine stuff. Like, that's, like, their mission in life. Like, they don't even... They just obsess over the divine feminine and divine, and divine masculine. It is so pathetic. It's like these karmics do not even have a life of their own. They are just so obsessed. It's like they spend all their money trying to do black magic. And the hilarious thing about it is all the black magic they're doing is like I've said in other videos, it's all coming back on them tenfold. It's all, it's like the divine masculine and feminine are protected. 